I don't believe that either of these jeans should ever be used with the knee pad. Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about uh, riding jeans, casual riding jeans, as opposed to really technical, fancy ones. And specifically, we're talking about the Reacts 267s and the Street and Steel Oaklands. And if you're up on your brands, you'll you'll catch the irony there because they're basically the same company, right? But only sorta. They're they're two different product lines. They do things a little differently. Particularly the two six sevens are a very non-traditional setup for a riding jean. However, they're going after the same market. They're meant to be a casual riding jean that you can wear on and off the bike and not look like you're wearing riding pants. And in terms of comfort. Within reason, they are designed to be casual jean comfortable. The key differences are the 267s are not a line jean. It's built in, okay? The slide protection, the abrasion protection, the heat protection is built into the material. It makes the material a little stiffer. Um, it's not gonna break in quite the same way. They look like a fresh pair of traditional Levi's. Both companies, when you put the pad in, you can't take the pad out and put it back without having to go through the whole repositioning process again. It's annoying. Uh, on the 267s, every time I put my leg in, I caught that pocket. Finally said, you know what the hell with this, turned it inside out and sliced the pocket out. I don't believe that either of these jeans should ever be used with the knee pad. If you feel the need for the knee pads in these jeans, you should be wearing something different. They are not highly technical, you know, racing pants, stunting pants. Uh, you know, these are not street Rossi pants, I guess. <laughs> that's the best way to put it. Like, that's not what these are for. These are meant to replace your regular Levi's when you just want some actual slide protection. If you happen to go down, you wanted that last little bit of protection without having to deal with a weird pair of jeans all day. And I think the 267s accomplish this better because there's no liner. There's no extra layer in the way. However, as we'll cover in a minute, there are some advantages to that liner. For me, the 267s were the better fit and a better fit in terms of what I was looking for. It does not necessarily mean that's true for you. For me, the waistline fit better. It didn't have the same tendency to slide down. Uh, or feel like it wasn't as snug as it should be. The general pants themselves, the legs, kind of fitted look. Um, there wasn't a whole lot of extra material, but not snug. It didn't feel like it was pushing that skinny jeans line. So there's not enough extra material to be flapping around in the breeze. These are not bell bottoms or anything like that. But it's not skin tight. It doesn't feel that way. The Oaklands, in my size, are snug. Uh, not everywhere, but for a good portion of my leg, it is on my leg. Uh, and if you're into that look, if that's what you're after, um, particularly I think if you're on a sport bike and you really don't want anything loose, this, this is a thing, right? I mean, it's, it's a popular look. Uh, in fact, I wish they'd done a better job of it. The ankle has a lot of extra material. I realize they're trying to get over some low riding boots or, or shoes. I almost wish they had just made it a little, little snugger. They also have the loops on the Oaklands to attach to your jacket, which the 267s do not, which would negate the whole issue of it trying to slide down, right? The area where I think the Oaklands do really well, it's warm. Their riding jeans did, if you're trying to extend your riding season a little bit, but you don't really want to go into like an all weather, you know, cold weather pair of pants yet, that's going to help. Uh, they really cut the wind flow and they're, they're, that's some insulation value. The 267s do not have that. It's a, a, a reasonably thick piece of denim and that's it. <laughs> mm, to me, I think the 267s are a better warm weather riding pants and the Oaklands are better when it's a little chillier. Overall comfort, overall quality, both seem excellent. I have not had any issues with either. Price-wise, 
I wish the 267s were cheaper. Uh, I think that what you're paying for is the technology of not needing to be a line pair of jeans. I bought mine on sale. Um, I will buy more when they go back on sale. If they don't go back on sale, I'll probably still buy more. If you are somebody who is a runner with a more streamlined leg, absolutely, the Oaklands may fit you perfectly. And you may feel like you're floating in the 267s. Uh, they have more stretch, much more stretch. Uh, the 267s have some stretch, but it's, mm, it's enough that you're comfortable after eating dinner <laughs> and that you're comfortable sitting down on the bike or standing up and walking around. And it's not too tight in either position. It's the Oakland's, there's a definite significant elasticity to the outer layer. And some people like that, some people don't. I've worn both quite a bit. I've washed both of them several times, have not had any issues um, in terms of that. No stitching coming loose, no weird fading. Um, the Oakland's did bleed a little color. I washed them in the bathtub the first time. Um, and yes, I did get some black dye coming off of it. Uh, not a lot. If you, if you washed it with darks, you'd be fine. Uh, it's not going to turn like, you know, this shirt black, but I wouldn't put it in with anything lighter. It seemed like it was a minimal amount and was fine. I did not get anything off the Reacts. Just don't throw the, the 267s or the, Re or the Oaklands in with your lights on your first wash. Uh, don't be that guy. Going back to price, the Oaklands really are a great deal. Um, I think for the money, they are one of the best options out there. And if you're just, if you're just getting going like I am, just to have a pair of riding pants, go for it. Um, I suggest trying them on at Cycle Gear though. I don't really suggest doing what I did and just ordering a pair because you may find you want a size bigger or a size smaller depending on how you want them to fit from your, your traditional size. It's just easier to do that in person at the store. So if you don't have a cycle gear near you, Revzilla does do exchanges for clothing nice and easily, but it's just easier to be able to put them on in the store, right? That is what it is. Take care, have fun, stay safe. Shiny side up, guys.